Thomas Gray hung up on me without even... February 20th, 2017, 8.06 a.m. calling William Alexander to let him know that uh, Thomas Gray hung up on me without even allowing me to ask him if I when's my appointment or ask him any information. Dr. Heidi Wood at case 15 CR 1287. This morning I called Thomas Gray, who is the evaluator for the competency for, uh, who was holding the insurance for Nicole Glover and the fabrication of competency in this case. However, I called this morning, I got it recorded February 20th, 2017, and I was asking to see when my appointments were and, and, um, when to come in and, and gather some information as well, which are all within my patient rights, with all within the Freedom of Information Act. And uh, Mr. Gray hung up on me. He refused to provide me any information, which could violate my liberty rights. And it is very clear that this is very malicious and that the actions taken in this evaluation have been done out of malice and extreme fabrication and perjury. And I got it all documented, sir. And so I'm bringing this to your attention that uh, it appears that there is foul play going on as nobody will contact me about uh, making appointments or arranging times to uh, meet the court's orders and malicious needs that are falsely being um, demanded of me without any merited legal cause. And um, Mr. Gray is, is precisely exhibiting clear and convincingly that he has acted in malice and hate and bias and prejudice and uh, refusing to provide me any information. And so I wanted to bring this to your attention, 15 CR 1287, that there is, it's impossible to adhere to your malicious, um, meritless order as this man is acting in malice and um, violating my constitutional rights, my medical rights, and the color of law, sir in this uh, competency uh, evaluation and trying to deem me back to competency. So I just wanted to bring that to your attention. Again, this is recorded February 20th, 2017. This is Dr. Heidi Woodick. Still to this day, you have not contacted me to have a meeting to provide you of pertinent information in this case to uh, prove to you beyond a reasonable doubt without trial, just within a chamber, that uh, this competency is uh, bogus absolutely bogus and fabricated and a ploy to delay and a ploy to kidnap. My number, 719-214-1181. I expect a phone call back. Also, I found you on a website um, tagged in an FBI site, and it doesn't appear that you have the credentials to even be in this case as after uh, what you're being investigated for, sir. So I expect a phone call back so we can uh, have a professional uh, meeting and discuss the merits and constitution of this case as you don't have one constitutional fact in this case to even try me for a prosecution. So just want to bring that to your attention, sir. It is recorded. This is Dr. Heidi Woodick, 15CR 1287. This is not a threat whatsoever. This is just a notice as I am required by due process to notify you of every civil right violation and constitutional violation in this case. Thank you. Bye-bye. That was the end of the conversation. However, I also want to note on this recording that uh, the, you can call the courts and the Supreme Law and all of the laws and the Constitution state that they cannot operate as a business. They say they are a government business and that we're customers and everywhere under the color of law, they say they cannot call the courts business or us customers. We're not customers. The courts refuse to change the word customers. Now, that is underneath the 13th Amendment, 
And anytime the courts operate and call its persons that enter the courtroom as customers, that's a 13th Amendment violation. That means they're human trafficking. And that is a violation underneath the torture acts of the treaties made in the Convention in Geneva. And that is a genocide crime. It's very serious. This is a major crime. You cannot call us customers. I didn't buy a good or a service there. And they don't sell a good or a service there. I got them recorded saying they don't have goods or services either. But they said we're still customers and they refuse to change that. It's been about four years I've been asking them. I'm not the only one who's asked them to uh, take the word customer off. And customer, if you look up the legal definition in a legal book, customer, you'll see that it's a business operation, which means that under constitution and color of law, every single person who's ever been tried or any case ran through the Pueblo courts is actually null and void. Defective on its face is what they call it. It's illegal. It has to be overturned. It's a levy for war. If you look at the war laws, the way they're acting, they're acting just as Hitler did, and it's a levy for war by the uh, treaty signed at the Convention of Geneva.